I am here, and this chunk sucks. Brimstale's Cave. Alright. One chunk away from agility. Welcome back to Nolan Deer's Adventure. The man who can bend the rules of this universe shooting through boxes. Truly feeling powerful enough to start throwing hands at those who stand in his chunk. And who knows? Maybe get just the means to do it. I also made an in-between episode where I went over the 500 tool level rule. Do I recommend you watch it? Nah. We'll also summarize it here. If I get a chunk for the third time in total, that chunk is now unlocked because I want fresh content. And not your sure yes care and I'll get that shit out of here, I'm done. <laughs> This chunk is interesting. Um, there's a fishing spot that I don't think anyone has ever used. But there's a willow tree here. There's a magic tree over there as well, so not much I can do in this chunk. But I think there's hill giants in this chunk, so I can try to... Uh, maybe I do just AFK hill giants, I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna use this time and uh, AFK magic here. I mean, he safe spotted himself again. That's impressive. That is level 30 magic. I can now equip prior for the staff and also level 25 prayer. I can protect item. And there's a second giant key, of course. Thank you. Level 31 magic. I can teleport to Lumbridge. I don't think I'll really ever collect law runes for a while. Until maybe I have a level 45 for Camelot teleport but for now I'll just be chilling without them and yeah I can roll a new chunk Lova kite mine huh okay there are a few king scorpions here I think they can hurt quite badly but my other option is to mine coal until 45 mining and honestly I think I'm gonna prioritize doing melee and then mine to heal up. Low 38 strength and 49 combat. Uh, this is pretty AFK because like, if I really wanted to sit here, I could. I have rapid heal on and these king scorpions auto aggro me. But how unfortunate is this though? I think the falling star can land on this chunk, but it just didn't this time. That's amazing. There's level 41 mining. I can now wield room pickaxes. How amazing is that? Uh, this took me a while mining coal. Hopefully I'll get a defense level from all the HP I've recovered. And then I have something else planned. And here I am doing fire making. Uh, I saw these dead trees here. And this is significantly faster than the mining. At least mining coal. I'd rather just cut these dead trees down. A hard clueness, let's see this. A fairy ring one. Huh. How doable is this? Where is this? Huh? I'm guessing it's underground. It was not shown on the map. It was actually the Tsar dungeon, which I technically could have gone to and finished a step, but like... Eh. Yeah. Well, in any case, let's get this fire making level. Move 32, and I'm gonna get the last defense level. And that is a level 30 due defense. That's 510 total level, I can roll a new chunk. Piscalaria Station. Damn, we're not leaving current today. I have played this game since release, and I have played Great Current since release, and I just now noticed that this place is called Piscarillius. What? I'm here, let's search these crates. I'm sure there's nothing here, but uh, what is upstairs here? I've never been here. Oh, it's a tower? Look at that. That's a nice view, actually. When it comes to testing this chunk, the only thing I really need to do is uh, get a rune scimitar and a rune kite shield from the head guard. And to be honest, I don't really feel like flinching, but I think I will... Uh, just try to range him. Might as well. A medium clue scroll. Orania cave. Okay. Dropping it. Uh, this is this is a weird safe spot. Because these boxes works as a safe spot. But these railings don't over there. Makes no sense. Alright, mystery box. Let's see it. Let's see it. 
a loop half key, I'm good. <clears throat> Alright, that's all of my iron arrows. I'm not gonna pick them up because there's like five on the ground or something. That is level 36 range. I can now wield mithril crossbows. I'm probably gonna be sitting here until 40 range. Actually, I think I'll get a hit points level. But I will be here for a while because I kind of want that rune skimmy. That is level 44 hit points. This is the only different level I'll be getting in this chunk. And that is level 39 ranged. This chunk is complete. I did not get the rune simi. I did get like 26 to 30 KC, which is actually solid. Because like my range level is getting up, so. Watson's house once again. I don't think I mind this actually. I'm back here now, and there's only one thing I can think of. And I'm just gonna do crafting here. Because uh, I will need, I think, 15 crafting to do flax no 10 wait that's perfect i'll at least get 10 crafting then because uh that would make my life so much easier and there it is level 10 crafting i can craft bow strings and crossbow strings i am not going to keep on doing this because i realized that i get 2 xp for each ball of wool so the only other thing i can really do is uh yeah, we're doing this again. Level 40 range, I can now wear green dragon hide and U bows. Two levels, I will also get a max hit for bronze arrows. Which is something I'm gonna be using for a really long time. But, you know, it helps. There it is, level 42 ranged. My max hit is now 6. That is incredible. The main reason why I haven't been doing- oh shit. The- the- hold on. Why am I chopping? There you go. The main reason why I haven't- been doing mage instead is because mine runes are three times as expensive as bronze arrows. I've gone through almost 2,000 bronze arrows uh, doing these head guards. I have 82 KC, which is quite insane. Yeah, I mean, it's very AFK and I can pick up most arrows. Also, the main reason why I'm doing these head guards in the first place is because a lot of Karen chunks are behind the rune kite and then rune scimitar drop. So if I can get like chip down on it the better it gets for me because like eventually I can sit here for longer and longer and the more likely it is that I get it which means I will get a high range level but honestly I don't mind I don't like this chunk so I need 43 fishing and 35 to do aerial fishing and there's only one option and I'm not too happy about this one but there are three dead trees over there. Which means... Oh my god, I didn't get poisoned. I have four doses of anti-poison, but honestly, the fact that I didn't need to use it is great. It really does seem like this is how I predominantly train woodcutting and fire making. Because, like, I don't want to use them in chunks where I have, like, willow trees and stuff. Because those are levels I want to keep low now that I think about it. A little 42 woodcutting. 192 logs for another level. This will probably be the only woodcutting level I get, but then again, I have no clue anymore. Also, I've been in Karen for way too long. I can burn teak logs. Okay. This is definitely a grind I don't want to do to like... 80 woodcutting and fire making. Level 36 fire making? With that, this chunk is done. Finally. Legend skilled. Oh wait, I can farm! Let's go! And here we are. I'm probably gonna get 5 farming levels in this chunk. It'll take some time, but it's gonna be worth it. Level 5 farming. I can now grow onions. This is gonna speed up my farming game by a big time. Yep. Level 6 farming. I planted onion seeds and marigold. And now it's just as something genius. And I'm going to show what I mean now. I was told that I can change potatoes into banknotes and I should be able to exchange them back. Oh, okay, so I think I can still unnote them in a bank. So, that is something that could be really nice for food, though not usable in many chunks. But you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna keep doing this, and the stuff is gonna grow anyway, so, you know, I have time to kill. Level 7 farming, I can now grow cabbages. Um,. This is quite solid. I have 93 potatoes picked up from that time the onions grew. And now I think I can just plant cabbages. This chunk is also very convenient because I can just plant these seeds 
and now run to the master farmer to get more seeds. And the cabbages are ready, look at that. I'm gonna get a level right now as well. Level 8 farming, I can now grow Asgarnian hops, I'm sure I will do that. Level 9 farming, I can now gr grow Guam leaf. I got some compost here as well for some extra XP, and now I can roll a new chunk. Never went to the legend skill chunk, but honestly there was just like trees there. Corsair South... Sure. Okay. I think I can go there, I'm not sure, I'll check it out. Okay, I can access this chunk actually. Which means that... I really hope this isn't a woodcutting chunk. Okay, so there's two options. I either get fishing levels, or I kill these ogres warriors. And I can just safe spot them using ranged, so... I think I'm... Yeah, I need to try this. And there's the first level, 45 hit points. Probably, uh, definitely going to be the only hit points level here, but... I can hate cave here for quite a while, I hope I don't get unlucky on another rune weapon. Alright, since I will get another 3 range levels on, in under 100 kills, I think I will just flinch them for quite a while, just because I really want this rune battle axe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually got it! I was completely like zoned out just watching videos. Okay, this is sick. Uh, this means that this Adamant 2H and this Adamant Scimitar are both uh, outclassed now. So when I get a general store, I'll be selling them. I'll be uh, still grinding this place because I there's a kite shield upgrade and a full helm upgrade, so I'll still go for that. And a rune met helm right after. Interesting. I already have a rune met helm, but I think in terms of cell value, I will just uh, drop the Adam and Scimitar because I... Yeah, the met helm sells for way more, so... I have space for that. Actually, I don't need to drop it. I'll just eat the salmon. Yeah, there we go. There's the Mithril Kite Shield. I'm actually rolling in drops right now. I've killed 35. Okay, that's crazy. I mean, that is the most common piece, but you know. And there's a little 44 ranged. There's new information available. I'm doing ranged again because, uh, honestly, I don't really care to flinch them anymore. I have a rune battle axe. If I get the rune full helm, I get it. Because I still have quite a bit of leeway still like two range levels or something so i'm fine oh 46 hit points and 50 comma that's actually kind of cool um one more level here probably will be attack i'm not sure how long i want to sit here honestly it's actually wild that i can just take an ogre warrior head on at this point if i had like a bank where i could also bake my potatoes i could just do it like this and soon enough, when I have an even higher defense level, the more likely this gets as well, so. And look at that, Salmon right after, so I can keep going. Another rune met hell. You know, honestly, um, it's, it's good money. So, I don't mind. And that is the last kill I can do. I got 80 KC, and sadly I did not get the rune full helm. But honestly, I got everything else. So, the shield and the rune battle axe, so that's pretty huge. I'm gonna get the last fishing level here, because like... Why not? <laughs> and there it is, level 12 fishing. And with that, this chunk is complete. Okay. So you can roll that chunk. Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> Eagle's Peak. Okay. Let's check it out. I am here, and this chunk sucks. Really, the only thing there is, is oak trees and yew trees, so I can unlock this chunk. But, since I have the chunk below it unlocked, I can just run over there and kill hill giants. So, that is what I'm going to be doing. Level 33 defense. There's gonna be four really quick levels coming up. Level 39 strength, level 48 attack, level 26 prayer, and there's level 45 ranged. With that, this chunk is complete. I actually had five really quick levels just made for this chunk. Worked out perfectly.
Shazian Dock. So this is quite the chunk because it turns out I can go into the giant's den. Which means I can go through a rune scimitar. Even though I have this rune battle axe, the rune scimitar would still be better DPS and the rune battle axe would serve as a flinch weapon. So I'm going to be sitting here for hopefully not too long. It's 1 in 128, but you know, maybe I can get it. Who knows? Oh. I found a safe spot though. <laughs> Alright, here we are. My inventory is completely messed up now, but you know. This, I have a very high accuracy against this fire giant. The only problem is they have a lot of health, so... I will get 50 range doing this, it seems. Or I will get the rune semi, but you know, I'm not getting my hopes up. Plus, I already have a rune battle axe, so I'm not too devastated this time. I would still like it though. An easy combat test, the walking volcano. Look at that. And that's another easy test done. I realized I just have to kill one moss giant and uh, hill giant, so... Yeah, might as well. Oh! Okay! I have it! Hold on! Uh, uh, okay, the reason why I'm reacting so slowly is because I've been doing a lot of fire giant tasks on my main. So I don't even like flinch at the rune scimitar drop, it takes me like a fi five seconds. But I have it! Holy shit! I only got one range level here. That's crazy. I'm currently getting 21k defense XP per hour. Rates I've literally never seen on this account. The Zoom Scimitar is actually insane. Level 35 defense, I can now wear Samurai armor. Just need to do Master Clues, I think. That's doable. So I waited out the aggression timer, and now I'm just picking up these bones and doing prayer for the last two levels, because I feel like it's very chill, and probably the nicest prayer XP I will have for a while, so, yeah. Little 20 sayers, eh. And here we are, level 28 prayer, I can use steel skin, I'm getting close to the cool prayers. And also 52 combat. Uh, yeah, nice chunk, let's throw a new one. Barbarian village. Looky here. <laughs> You're joking, the only reason why I cannot unlock this chunk is because of this here. I cannot make a waka canoe, I need 57 wood cutting for that. That is- oh, actually no, those fish too. Never mind, I can't unlock this chunk. I'm gonna use this wonderful ability to kill minotaurs here. Because I can slowly stock up on arrows here, and it should be very fast XP. I'm trying to get 40 defense so I can wear one of these rune head helms. <laughs> that is level 47 hit points. The rest of the four levels is going to be all defense. And there it is, level 39 defense and 550 total level. And with that, this chunk is complete. And one more defense level, I can finally equip one of these rune med helms and get a lot of inventory space. Keith's house. Okay, let's go there. And here we are. As we can see, there's a bunch of trees here. Yeah. There's also some cows, and but honestly, I, I don't really... They have like 6 HP, right? 8. Oh my goodness, it's like minotaurs. Well, um, I think there's also a black bear here. Maybe I can just do one more defense level here and see how it, I go f from there. So I'm doing multiple things at once. Uh, 28 cooking. I'm killing bears to get level 40 defense. I'm also pretty close to a prayer level. And I chopped down two more trees and have a wood cutting level. So somehow this chunk just works out like that. And I'm guessing the last level is going to be a cooking level. So, yeah. I also apparently completely missed it, but I got 40 defense. Oh. Well, uh. Boom. <laughs> Look at this. That is level 29 cooking. I can now cook mud by brew green man's ale, cheese, and tomato baras. And on top of that, I'm also gonna get level 29 prayer. New chunk, let's go. Shipyard. We're back at this wooden log. But I don't think I actually have to be. And I fall anyway. Okay, simply put, even if I had access to the shipyard, there would be nothing I couldn't do there. 
So, taking that into account, I'm going to unlock this chunk and roll a new one, because uh, like this chunk over there, there's not much to do here either, so yeah. And... Damn. <laughs> uh, sure, we unlock that too, because that's my third time rolling this chunk. Wow, we're getting a big portion of Karamcha jungle. Okay. The deeper load. Alright. We're back to current. The chunk people probably visit the least in current. Has to be one of uh, one of those. Anyway, what is nice about this chunk is that I have it. I can unlock it. There's nothing special I can really get here. And well, there is a task for obtaining a cursed amulet of magic. And when I look at the stats, it gives minus 3 attack bonus for magic and minus 80% magic damage. So, calling it a melee and ranged uh, best in slot necklace is kind of a stretch. And other than that, I can do everything here. So it means I can unlock a chunk where I have a general store. These rune med helms here, this adamant full helm, these adamant weapons. They're all gonna go now. The amount of inventory space I'm gonna get right now is going to be really nice. And here we are. I have 35,000 and a bunch more inventory space. This is what I'm working with now. Anyway, I can roll a new chunk as well now. Battlefront. Alright. Let me talk about possibly one of the hardest tasks I have to face eventually, and that is the Xerix Talisman. Lizardmen have a ranged attack that poisons you, and grinding out the talismans consistently as of now is nigh impossible. Except this one chunk where I brainstormed the safe spot, and where I grinded it out on my group Iron Man 3 years ago. You're telling me I cannot cook the shrimp on this campfire? Are you joking? I, um, killing lizardmen in this chunk does not sound really fun. And uh, it's single target area, for, for some reason I don't know why a bell front is single target, but uh, yeah, they poisoned me. I do have shrimp to heal myself, but like, I don't have a, like any possible way to safe spot them. And they're not really that worth it either, so yeah. I'm just gonna do cooking with these raw shrimp, I think. Level 30 cooking, I can uh, cook apple pies and tuna. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'm 12 XP away from level 40 strength, so I will do that right now before I forget. Because this is not the fastest way to get cooking XP. Oh, level 40 strength. And a lizard man fang. Wow, epic. Level 31 cooking. I can now cook fish cakes. I accidentally dropped the tinder box instead of a shrimp. Oh my god, that almost turned out badly. I'm testing if this microphone is working. Shashango. Level 33 cooking. I can now prepare Tetra and Chocolate Saturdays. Haven't heard of any of those, but 560 total. This concludes the ninth episode of Nolan Deer's Adventure. Blood got a room scimitar and is ready to take on at least three new monsters. Who knows what those new monsters could be? Because like, I don't. I have, That's all the footage I have right now. Uh, uh, bye! You know, it's kind of funny how the song literally ended as this screen pops up. I'm not even gonna put on a new song. You're just gonna have to listen to me longer. Like, you know, what's 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 what you been up to? Let me know. I'm all ears.